We're gonna go to Barnes and Noble, but before we do that, we're gonna go eat. I really want ramen. But my partner, Jake, over here. Jake doesn't want ramen because he's a freaking weirdo. And so I don't know what we're gonna eat, but we're gonna eat something and then we'll probably end up at Barnes and Noble just because that's what we do. It's Sunday. Let's take away the Sunday scaries with some books. <sighs> Let me know if you've read this and what your thoughts are because I don't know. right there. If you could actually tell me how to marry Keanu Reeves, I would read this, but I don't think it's a guide on how to actually marry him. I feel like they don't have that many indie romances, so I'm kind of just kind of like, where are all of my indie romances? I always have to check out the Pusheen collection because we just have to be there. Okay, the Bat Pusheen is a vibe. I'm really loving it. Oh. <laughs> I love how they don't have the gold here. Oh my god, they have cold tea! I've never seen a Mariana Zapata. Oh my god, they have already got what the heck. I love this book so much. Okay, but this is actually so cute. 
the world was hers for the reading? Are you kidding me? I have yet to read House of Night. Wait, no. Ninth House. What am I saying? <laughs> I have it in hardback. I also really want to read this. I love this cover. It's pretty cool. That is a really freaking cute cover. Oh my god. So I ended up getting a coffee from Starbucks, I mean the cafe from Barnes & Noble. It's really good. It's delicious. It's freaking delicious. And I'm going to go to Goodwill now, which is great. I love Goodwill. So I'm going to see if there's any books in there. Yeah. I always feel like a weirdo going into Goodwill with a Starbucks. I feel like that's like, oh, you're going thrifting, but you have a $6 cup of coffee in your hand. You know? Dumb. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So no one else Look, if you need a lamp, we have lamps. Okay, I totally thought that was a person in the corner over there. Oh my god, that's just uh, a lamp shade. Okay, okay, look at all those couches. So I'm back home now and I got some things. Uh, <laughs> I got lots of things, so I'll show you what I got. First off, I went to the mall and so um, I went to like one of my favorite shops that has like cute little knickknacks and things and just cute things all around. And I got this Hello Kitty shirt with the cup of noodles on the on it. I one love this color. It's like it's not it's like a red, but it's like a really pretty. It's like a Hello Kitty red. I don't know how else to describe it. Very freaking cute. That'd be real comfy. And then, and then I got this Rilakkuma plushy thing. Now you're probably like, Lachlan, you, <laughs> you don't need any more of these. You're right, I don't. Look at the bag. Are you kidding me? This is literally so cute. Jake was very supportive in this. He was like, this one's squishy. He was like, you could put your books on this, like when you read it. And I was like, you're right, I could. Anyway, you're here for the books. So let's get to the books. I got a lot of books, y'all. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven books. I went a little crazy. So what I got from Goodwill is, I'm very excited about this. I found a Sarah Dessen book and I've never read any of her books before. It was $4.99. Just look at this. Hmm? How cute is this? Yeah, it's, I mean, I just, I'm obsessed. It kind of reminds me of Tiffany & Co. Um, it smells old. 
I love the smell of books, old, new. I mean, as long as it doesn't have cigarette smell, like I love the smell of books. So yeah, this is called Lock and Key. And I actually have heard about this book. So I don't know what it's about, but I've heard that it's good. So when I saw it, I was like very excited about that. Um, and then the other book I got from Barnes Noble, I mean from Goodwill, <laughs> Goodwill, um, is The Kite Runner. My friend just recently read this. Riri, if you're watching this, they gave this five stars, I believe. Um, this was $3.99, so I mean, it's in pretty good condition. Like there's, I mean, it's like, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, so I'll just take the sticker off. That's all I got from Goodwill. Um, and then next up is Barnes Noble. So first off, y'all know I got boyfriend material because I've been trying to get this on Amazon for a while and it says like that it's not released yet. I know that it's released obviously because I've seen people read it. Literally obsessed with the cover. Like, are you kidding me? This cover is amazing. I'm just, I'm in love. If it's anything, anything like Red, White, and World Blue, I will be completely obsessed. Let me know if you've read it because I did not look up reviews before I got it. I just, I'm like, I have faith. And then I have another cover by The Stand-In by Lily Chu. I, this is so cute. Honestly, I saw Fail to Do Laundry again and I'm like, Relatable, I'm getting it. It's just such a cute cover, the pink and the blue, and then like the haircut and then the earrings and the dress. I'm just, yes, I think it's a rom-com. So I live in Texas, it's very hot. Um, right now it's May, so it's basically summer for us. Summer begins pretty early in the year. Um, summer actually starts in like April. <laughs> <laughs> but it's getting very hot. So I wanted to pick up some rom-coms and that's exactly what I did. So I got The Kiss Quotient and I have heard rave reviews about this book. Uh, it's a series. I think The Bride Test is the next book. And then there's no, I think there's three total. Let me know if you've read it. Um, I don't really know anything about it. I just went off vibes and I'm like, this looks like a good summer read. <laughs> I don't know if it's like summer related at all, honestly, because they're like wearing business clothes, it looks like. So and then I actually got some good summer reads. So I got Shipped by Angie Hawkman. I've heard a lot of good things about this one and it's just very beachy and summery and um, don't know anything about it. So it says on the back, the honeymooner, the Honeymooners meets the Hating Game. Oh my God, I can't talk. The Honeymooners meets the Hating Game. Oh, it's a about a girl, a marketing manager, who's forced to go on a cruise with her arch nemesis. And they're up for the same promotion. Okay, it really is the Hating Game. Yeah, I'm excited to read this. And then, speaking of on Honeymooners. I got the on Honeymooners. I read my first Christina Lauren book just last night. Uh, Love in Other Words, gave it five stars. Amazing, chef's kiss, obsessed with that book. Now I have heard mixed reviews on this one, but like, look at it, just look at it. Just look at it. Okay, also blue and the yellow, um, absolutely. So that's the, the book haul for today. Yay for new books. Oh wait, I have one more thing that I got from Attic Salt. Um, I got a new pop socket. That's cute. I can switch this out. I have a pop socket on my Kindle and it's just like- Switch, switch outable. Interchangeable. So I can change it to this because this is cute. The little checkered, I'm obsessed. If my Kindle was right next to me, I would show you what it'll look like, but it's downstairs and y'all, I'm too lazy. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading. This is not a reading vlog. This book shopping vlog and wherever you are i hope you're having a great day if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video